We know that three of them have been arrested, but I want to focus first on what's happening right now behind me. We're at Romeo High School, uh, where the deputy graduated in 2012. Folks are, are leaving uh, the football field. Hundreds, if not thousands, came here tonight to remember this fallen deputy. Now, our cameras, the media's cameras, were not allowed inside, but I'm told uh, that the deputy's entire family was there, along with Sheriff Michael Bouchard. Now, there have been some updates earlier today in the murder investigation here. As I said, three males have been arrested. One of them charged, and we're actually learning more about their prior run ins with law enforcement, including Deputy Reckling himself. The first of likely three males to be charged in connection to the ambush attack on Oakland County Sheriff's Deputy Bradley Reckling in court Wednesday afternoon. 18 year old Blake Moore allegedly in the stolen car that Reckling was investigating before he was murdered. Ran three blocks away from the scene where the officer unfortunately expired and it resulted in a dog track finding them within a relatively short period of time uh, on a porch that they didn't belong on. Along the way, two guns plus gloves were found. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office says Moore ran from police last Saturday night after Reckling was shot. Then when he was caught, he wouldn't cooperate with investigators. He's being held on a $100,000 cash bond, no 10%. The defendant during his interrogation was repeatedly asked, why aren't you giving us more information here? Um, he indicated something about being concerned about his safety in the community once he got out of prison. The other two suspects were already out on bond from charges stemming from a carjacking and police chase case back in March. Sources tell Fox 2 they were charged following an investigation led by Troy police. That case had ties to the auto theft team Deputy Reckling was on with Oakland County Sheriff's Office. Sources tell us Reckling was there the night the two suspects were arrested in Detroit back in March. Those same suspects that allegedly suddenly got out of the stolen vehicle they were in last Saturday and shot and killed the deputy. Those two are being held on bond violations from those previous charges and their bonds were revoked in that case Tuesday, which means they'll stay in custody. As oftentimes happens in these situations, we ask the question. The question starts being posed. What if they were in prison? What if they had uh, a higher bond in those previous cases? Uh, so that is something that is being talked about in the law enforcement community right now. Uh, but the, the stakeholders and all of this, Sheriff Bouchard not commenting. And we are still waiting on charges for the two that are still in custody. But they are in custody, as I said, for now. Their bond has been revoked in that previous case.